What is on my face anyway? <laughs> ah, loaded question. Who answer? Hi guys, I'm D, author of the Consume by Heat series and one half of D and J. And I'm J, the other half of D and J. And this is DNJ Bookshot. Welcome back to our channel. Now, if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring that bell so that you can be notified when we post new videos. Today, we'll be discussing Take a Hint, Danny Brown by Talia Hibbert. Uh, by the way, guys, trigger warning. This book will dive into anxiety disorder and the impact of it on someone's life so if something like that does trigger you maybe this book isn't for you i know i still i suffer from anxiety disorder and i wasn't actually affected by this i actually appreciated the way the author took care and time to learn what exactly happens to the body and what how it affects individuals but again you may not be like me so if you are affected by this this may not be for you, but go ahead and check out the descriptions first and make a decision. If not, hey, you're welcome to listen to this video regardless. Take a Hint Danny Brown follows Danny Brown, a strong-willed PhD student who knows what she wants and believes she knows exactly how to get it. And <laughs> Zafir Ansari. And Zafir Ansari, a brooding security guard who ex knows exactly how to warm your heart now this book follows them along a fake relationship that turns out to be a little less fake and a lot more heavy now let's dive into what we thought about take a hint by danny brown so james 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 i see your face let me know what you thought about take a hint danny brown what is on my face anyway <laughs> ah, a loaded question. Won't answer. I want you to answer, but it's okay. Okay, maybe we don't have any time for that. All right, so <laughs> this is basically our third review, and I must mm -hmm. say, finally, finally, holy cow! It took it took three books us to re review three books to find a good book that I actually like. That has everything that we've been wanting in the other the, the previous books. I love this book. Ding 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 ding. Ah, I love this book too. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love everything about it. Except for I didn't want it to end. I saw it going to the end and I was crying like, no, don't, don't, don't. I, I love it. I just wanted it to go on and on and on and on. I loved it. There is not. Okay. As usual, I can't tell you why I loved it until the spoiler part. So if you haven't yet read this book, I'm looking at you sideways. But if you haven't yet read this book, Please, 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 please go give your mind a break and click on that link below to grab a copy yourself. We listened to it on Scribd. So if you have a Scribd subscription, <laughs> there you go. It's there. But I'll put the link to the Amazon down below so y'all can grab yourself a copy. Hey, I'll even put the link to Scribd too because I got you. I got you. Now go ahead and grab a copy when you finish reading the book. Bring your ass back here because we need to talk. All right? You said the A word. That's how excited I am. You're scared. I'm pumped. Well now, seeing that they're already gone, right? If y'all don't want to be spoiled, I hope you left because there's about to be some spoilers. All right? Now, James, pull the curtain back, man. Tell me, tell me, tell me why you love this book and let me see if I agree. Ho, 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 ho. I'm going to make sure that you don't agree. Okay, so let's begin. I like UK stuff. I'm biased, you know. I'm actually born and raised in Jamaica, but yeah, I love UK stuff. I think UK is like, you know, the author's my favorite book is from UK. My I won't even say author, but my favorite book is from a, a UK person. My favorite TV show. Well, not really my favorite, but something that I, you know, gets me all excited no 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 that's the wrong word um 
makes me think yeah that would be good good old plug doctor who yeah yeah and my favorite comedy is actually from a uk so this book i mean uk people tend to have like really 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 good um ideas they're good at in creating stuff so you know this author is from the uk and is she I don't even know. She's the British. Book is based in the UK. She's British. Did are you going stalking the authors now? Did you look her up, James? Yes. Oh, I had to. Her. Because stop. Talia, be warned. Be careful. Run. Run. She's yeah, she's a British author. The last time I checked, um, uh, it it I had to look because the narrator was he was using a, a British accent and. In the beginning of the book, even though I'm listening to it, I didn't really get a feel of the stuff. I'm like, hold up. It kind of started off, huh? So, but I, I had to just look up. And then, f- since I found out that, you know, these guys are from UK, I gave them a little bit of slack in terms of I didn't really truly understand the beginning. But that's my only, like, one of my few negatives. Do I need yeah, to? but you the only reason you liked the book was because it was from the UK. What did you like about the book? What parts about it made you happy? Did any part make you smile? Did let me know. Spill the tea. Okay, all right, it's fine. I guess you want me to 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 carry the curtain a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. The 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 persons who don't want to be spoiled have already left. They're gone. Let me know. I want to know. Okay, so I'll do my positive for this book. Or at least my main male version of it. First of all, I don't really like romance book. I don't like the cheesiness. I do like this. I like, um, hmm, okay. I like, what I like about this book, it's a really good slow burn, right? Um, there were a lot of jokes in there, a lot of hints, a lot of, you know, there, it was actually funny. Yeah, I just read this book because of the sex scene. And I was happy that, you know, it was a slow burn and neither of them were getting laid. And I was just there for the late, getting laid part. So it's like the suspense, you know, you, you like the teasing of it all. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, okay, 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 okay. I love a slow burn. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love the journey. Ah, oh, listen, 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 listen. It's so exciting. Let me tell you why I love this book, all right? You just just like that. just listen. Oh, just just listen, all right? All right, all right. Listen. I get jealous. This book, I tell you, I tell you, when you talk about slow listen, diversity. Danny Brown is a bisexual woman and she don't give two. Woo-hoo, ha. One, two, it wasn't about trying to change who she was. It wasn't about she, she was quirky. She was nerdy. That chick was smart and hot. And hot. According to the book. Well, we got it. I got it. I got it. You know, you know, she knew who she was. She was confident in who she was, even in the bits of her that she wasn't confident in. Homegirl displayed confidence till she, you know, she was wrong and strong a lot of the times. But hey, confidence is sexy and she wore it well, right? <laughs> Zafir. Oh, Zafir. Let's talk about Zafir for a second. I'm getting really Zafir sorry. was a man who openly enjoyed reading romance novels and he didn't give two hoots about it. I like reading the romance novels. You just said you didn't. All right. I, All right. I, you I, take I, don't take it back now. You know I still love you, but Zafir, baby. Zafir was, I, I don't know, I, I have a thing for confidence. And both these characters were written so confidently confident. that it was like, oh my goodness. If you haven't read this book, come on, you haven't read this book. Speaking of which, I see you. If you haven't already clicked the like button below this, go ahead and click that like button. Click that subscribe button and ding that bell, all right? <laughs> Yeah, give it up for you, girl and you boy. Let, let's just go ahead and, yeah, thank you. Now that you've done that, back to the book. I I just couldn't get enough of this book. I like, I, 
I had to stop because I was doing something else. And I swear to you, my brain kept saying, girl, why aren't you reading? Girl, why aren't you listening? You need to figure out what was going on. It gripped me from the beginning and it just held me. It wouldn't let me go. It was like, "Mm -mm, mm -mm, you got to know what's going on. You got to know what's going on. And I loved it. I loved it. I sopped it up. Um, diversity. I said that already. I have to say it again. I have to say it loudly because that's lacking in, in romance nowadays. Talk about diversity, but racial diversity. I mean, Z- Zafir is Indian and Muslim and Danny Brown is black and bisexual. I think the book says that he's from Pakistani. I Pakistani. Think. Sorry. Sorry. Whoops. Oh, I don't know which one. Whoops. Uh, he's uh, either Indian or Pakistani. But the point is, the point is, the representation is up. And believe you me, that's missing in romance. And for that, we got to give Talia a big round of applause there. There, there was just so many good points about this book. The plot went on without a, without an itch. The plot went from point A, point B, point C, point D, and you followed every single bit of it. The relationship unfolded on page and that made me love them even more. I felt like Danica and I, I felt like Danny and I were best friends. I felt like Zafir and I were best friends. When they were hurting, I was upset too. When they were sad, I was sad too. When they were happy, it was like, yeah, girl, yeah. Right, so that's just how I felt. I know I'm a little bit over enthused for lack of a better word, but I just really, really love this book. Yeah. Do you have anything else to add? Yeah. Um. So, yeah, I do like the fact that it's very realistic. We do see, you know, it does, there were a lot of bits in there that, you know, that have a lot of discussion. We see that, you know, like for myself, I, I do read romance book. I sometimes read it for the wrong reason. For this book, I did it for the wrong reason, but I was engaged in this book. It really did captivate you know it it kept my attention to it it made me want to even though i was probably would take my phone into the bathroom just to continue to listen to it i didn't really want to have any form of a uh, distraction because i want to actually focus on this book there were a lot of tidbits you know like for example uh it follows you know the type of that there are some women out there that you know have that relationship issue has relationship issues you know that you know some men sadly don't always do uh friends with benefits or you know friends with benefits that doesn't catch feelings so it, it's a lot of things that were really good i like the whole the whole you know the switch of rule the woman is the one that wants to have friends with benefit the guy is the one that says hey i like you i kind of you know i'm just gonna say yes to this friends with benefit for the time being even though he says he didn't want to do it but the only thing that i really like is that he said yes just to get the nookie but anyway right as i said my the I kind of zone out, I kind of dip a little bit when I started to, uh, when they, when I had sex, I think after the first sex scene, I'm like, all right, I'm done. <laughs> so, but it gave you, it showed you a lot of things. It, it, it shows the good times. It showed the bad times, you know, it showed the good times again. It shows, you know, it's like the together. Yeah, we're together. Oh no, we're broken up. Oh, we're together again. And how the journey of building the relationship with each other. Awesome. All right. Now, without further ado, let's get to our star ratings. All right. So, James, as usual, we'll start with you. What's your star rating for this book? I do not know. That's a first. (laughs) All right. Well, while you still brood over it, go ahead and give it some thought. And... I'll go ahead and dive into mine. I'm rating this book a full 5 out of 5 stars. I loved everything about it. Hell, it may just be my new favorite book of 2020. I I, I love this book. There, There is no two sides about it. I loved it. I lo- I, okay, I, I, I can't gush anymore. I just loved it. So for me, it's a full 5 out of 5. All right, back to you. Okay, I think... I should have went first. <laughs> now I'm biased. <laughs> no, no. Do what you think. If you think it's a one, let me know. If you think it's a two, let me know. Be honest. Be true to you. Right. So I couldn't give it a, f- a full five. I was going to give it a 4.5. But after listening to your review, I think I want to go with 4.8. No. What was your review without my review? Don't let me influence you. 
Tell me your honest opinion. Go with your feelings. All right, fine. Then I'll go with my feeling. 4.5. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. So from you, it's 4.5. From me, it was a full 5. So together, from D&J, that's an average of 4.75 stars. All right, so that's a 4.75 stars from D&J. Again, we love this book, and I'm sure you'll probably love it too. So, hey give it a read again this the link is in the description down below and if you've already read this book which you should because you're you're here in the spoiler section if you have go ahead and let us know what you thought about the book in the comments below and remember to subscribe and continue listening to my wonderful voice <laughs> yeah like comment and subscribe and ding that bell so that you'll be the first persons to be notified when we upload thank you so much for tuning in to dnj's book chat and until next time <laughs> bye guys fear and sorry a brooding security guard who is a little bit soft on love and soft and cue the music. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Happy you know, this part isn't going to be there, right? <laughs>